grab your chair. We're gonna do some yoga stretches, um, but just stretches. So downward dog, a lot of times people say, oh, I can't get down to the floor. How do I do that? Here you go. You're gonna hold on to the top of the chair. Now you can use either side. I'm just gonna hold on. I'm just gonna let myself kind of hang over and let my chest drop down past my arms. Boy, does this feel good. I'm gonna soften my knees and I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under and reach it out. So that's cat cow. Your hands can either rest on your form or you could hold on up to you. This feels kind of good to me. I'm gonna reach the tailbone back, tuck under and reach, stretch, reach one more, tuck and reach. So two places we get tight, hamstrings and lower back. They're connected. So a lot of times you have tightness in the hamstrings, you usually have tightness in your lower back. So we wanna get that, that stretch. All right, rest your hands again, put your forehead down if you need a place to stay and just let the tailbone reach back behind you. That's really what we're looking for in downward dog. All right, now the way I can do it um, in my chair, if you're more flexible, is I can go down here and do it. <coughs> but don't underestimate what it's like to do, use the top of the chair. You can also do it like here with your hands on the chair. We're looking to stretch you let that torso go back below your arms. It's hard in this shirt to kind of see. And so I get that really nice stretch. This is a little low for me. I get a much better stretch. So I'm gonna, I just wanna always show you options. But I get a much better stretch up here. Oh yes, there we go. Nice, let that body stretch below uh, where your arms are. So it releases. And then I'm going to do um, a little bit of a thoracic. That's your upper back. Your, um, oh, I'm going to do a stretch. That feels good. And come back down and another stretch. Oh, and back down one more side. But let's say you turn off your camera if you're in a meeting. And let's just say you come here, rest your head, and just take a stretch. So in kindergarten, many years ago, you used to take a little nap. I don't know if they do that. I don't think they do that kind of stuff anymore. A little nap break. Think of these stretches as little rest, respites in your day for your body to stretch and to feel better. It feels good. We wanna make your body feel good. So do them easy, simple. Don't make a big deal. Just turn your chair around and get that stretch. And I'm telling you, your body will thank you.